Hello everyone and welcome back to part 2 on how to create a Friday Night Funkin' Game in Roblox in, this tutor in the past tutorial I showed you guys how to make this So each 5 seconds a random arrow will pop up and twin to the top And it will choose a random arrow so as you can see it chose the purple one And each time it chooses a random er uh, arrow So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make it uh, go with how to add rhythm to this and make it depend on the loudness of the sound. So instead of this while to do here, we'll just delete it and we'll put a while wait do and go to your toolbox, get uh, a song. I'm going to choose a random song. I'm not going to be playing it though. Uh, because of copyright issues, so add a folder inside of replicated storage, rename it to songs, and choose a random song. I'm going to choose this one. I'm just going to play it real quick. Alright, so it's good. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a variable for the song, and uh, I forgot to add a add an end value, to, a number value instead to this song, and we're gonna rename it to difficulty and then change this to a to for example 0 0.5 the lower this number is the harder it's gonna get and the higher it is is the easier it gets so local song is equal to game dot replicated storage dot songs dot uh chasing lights and in here while wait song dot difficulty song dot difficulty dot value do and in here we will get the loudness of the song so local number is equal to uh, math dot round math dot round and we will put the song dot playback loudness make sure the b is not cap capital and the p is capital for back loudness capital l loudness divided by and we're going to divide it by a high number like 35 or maybe just or maybe 40 and in here we're going to do local uh, loudness is equal to or local chosen arrow is equal to and we will get the we will do math.clamp math.clamp and we'll get the number so th uh, as you can see it says here math number clamp uh number x number minimum and number max so the minimum number is going to be one and the maximum is going to be hashtag uh arrow types and arrow types is the table that we put right here so it has up, down, left, right arrow types, and what we're going to do now is we'll call the add arrow function. So add arrow, we will send the cho uh, arrow types square brackets and chosen arrow. And if you go ahead and play the game now, it should tween the arrow each time. As you can see, twinned it, and it keeps on choosing the same one for some reason. Maybe I need to divide it by a higher number. All right, so I'm back, and I found out that I found out that the problem was that the uh, I was not playing the song, so I'm going to play it, but I don't want it to be allowed. So let's change the volume to 0.5 because I don't want this video to be copyrighted. So I'm going to have to mute the video real quick. I thought we'll just do that right now. Volume. And as you can see, now it chooses a random arrow. And depending on the sound's loudness. I'm not sure if the sound is copyrighted or not. So I don't want to risk it. 
I'm going to change the volume to zero, or I already set my volume in Roblox. So the same script, but with uh, uh, but the sound. Make sure that the sound is playing. So now what we're gonna do is we'll we have a little problem. If we wait, like for example, point one, point one, and we set the we're gonna firstly create a variable for the arrow speed. So local arrow speed is equal to and we're gonna change that to for example two and in here we will instead of putting point six we're gonna put the arrow speed and in here again and what we're gonna do is as you can see we have the problem so we set this to one point one but when you go ahead and play the game and I gotta make sure I'm not playing the music And I spelled tutorial wrong. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not loading. Alright, so we have to rejoin the game. And see if we can join this time. We should be able to join. What's wrong with Roblox Studio? this always happens like whenever you join you have this loading screen that takes ages to load um finally okay so as you can see uh no, it does not feel like 0.1 seconds so the problem was that uh we need to wrap wrap this uh add arrow function and uh, in a uh core time dot wrap so uh, the reason why is because we wait one second here, so it waits for the function to finish, then calls it again. So to fix this, we will remove this, and we'll put instead curtine, curtine dot wrap, and we'll wrap the uh, add arrow function. And for the arguments, we don't do the same thing. We have to put it right here. We ha we do another other another parenthesis, and then we put a. Uh, the chosen the arrow type types and chosen arrow and now if you go ahead and play the game it should fix our problem and i really hope this time we'll load in very very fast all right so as you can see now it spawns a lot of arrows every time so that's pretty cool and it's also depending on the uh, loudness of the music what we're gonna do now is we're gonna check if the arrow is uh, positioned correctly or maybe we'll do that in the next tutorial but for now we will just build a little a little stand for the players where they will be able to fight and we will do that in the next tutorial uh, not fight I mean like sing so let's change this to this color and change the material to wood and uh, that should be way better all right so let's put this to one stud and we're gonna move it like this and that looks pretty good we're gonna anchor all of this so model anchor and if you go ahead and play the game And yeah, this is going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helps, make sure to subscribe, share the video, and this is going to be it. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Bye.